Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be making an age calculator in Art in App Lab, sorry. And in the last video, I did I did a part two version of Artist, and if you guys haven't checked that out, I recommend you go check it out. And I gave a brief introduction and showed all the codes and what they do and about functions and loopholes and etc. And how you can work them through in Artist. So I, I fully recommend you go check that out, but yeah, let's get right into it. So we'll be making an age calculator. So basically over here, you'll just run an age calculator and maybe you could do like a question mark here saying like, what's your age? And then you could do enter your current, enter the current year, which is like maybe this year's 2021 when I uh, upload this video and when you're born. So you could be born in 2010 and then you'd be 11. So yeah, that's basically how this age calculator is going to work and this would be for the people who are born like maybe in the 1990s and it would be much more easier to calculate the age instead of doing it in your head so and then we're just going to put a button to find the age and a text area where the age will appear so yeah let's get right into it so we're going to design and design our way around it first so first we're going to pick the color and I'll go with cyan because I kind of, I quite like the background um, of cyan. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll put in a label first. So I just chuck this, grab a label and put it there. And we could maybe put the width around 170, sounds good to me. And 60 in height. And then the text. Um, the text would be age calculator, basically. Oh, age calc. Oh, I thought it went away. And we'll make the ID title. And now we're gonna go the text color and. First, we'll put it in um, a good position. So this seems quite good to me, but we can always change it at the end. And there's no rush for that. Okay, so age calculated, the ID is title. Now we're going to go to the font. We'll leave the font as Arial Black, but we will put the font size up to 20. Which seems perfect. Or um, font size is 20, Arial Black. Uh, yeah, so maybe you could make it a, a tiny bit lower so it could fit through there. And then we could also just do a border. Yeah, a border would be spectacular. So yeah we want our text alignment to be in the center and if we maybe did this to 20 it would turn out like that but then yeah that does seem yeah okay it's up to you guys um on how you want to do it but i prefer it in one line so i'll just reduce it to 18 and um our background color it could be like maybe dark blue Uh, yeah. Oh, it's not picking. Okay. Well, we'll change our font color to maybe greenish or maybe light greener. But that would be quite hard to see. So we may do it red or yellowish, golden. But it's up to you, basically. But yeah, I'll just leave it at this color, which looks okay to me. And then we'll go into border color. Now, border color, I like, I'll do red. And our border size could be like three. Yeah, three seems good to me. Alright, and then we'll just change our um background to maybe dark blue it doesn't seem to be coming 
Well, I'll just refresh the page quickly, but yeah, so, uh, you, this is all up to your choice again, guys. I'm just doing it as a reference, kind of, but it's basically all up to you. Yeah, so as you can see, it would stand out more when it's over here so yeah again the color choice is my is yours completely and yeah it's absolutely the way you want to do it and you can also change the background to um to different variants and all that but yeah we'll stick with this for now and it, you again it may not look as appealing as you as i want it to so maybe i could change it around and go hmm i wish background color could be something something light something like this and i could change this color to something dark and then i could change this to light green and there that's a night that's another match but yeah we'll move on to the next thing and i am um, this one it's again choice this one's by choice everything here is by choice in here but yeah i'll be chucking in a image right here and i would like to choose the image as icon and we're gonna get this question mark and put it a bit high up so it's over there and we can i'll change the color to dark i'll change the color to very or oh, mm, icon color could be yeah it could be it could be darkish green. Again, this is the theme of bluish and green and cyan. So as you can see, there's, I, uh, it's also, it's always appealing if you can keep like a really good, a really good, well, you know, a really good homepage or uh, it's a, it should be basically appealing. So this width, you can go to 25 to 26. So yeah, and then the height's a bit higher and we'll go 25 oh i just reduced it so yeah these this may take quite a while for a lot of people but it's always good if it looks good if it looks good then it would like it would be much more appealing meant you would attract more users and that's what we want at the end of the day okay so this can receive lame label one. The text is going to be enter current year. So I'll put, we're just going to type in enter current, uh, current year and then put a full stop. And then we're going to scroll down and change our, um, font to times and change this to 22 in size and it does fit pretty well and then again all i have to do is just take this text color control c it and just put the same text color in here and also yeah that's basically it and then we can go below and put out text input color so right there and we could do just like placeholder could be like y y y to like show enter year and text input one could be named uh current current time so yeah so that's just basically going to give me an understanding when i'm writing my code and again we'll change this to times and make our text up to 20. uh yeah we'll make up our text up to 20. sounds good and um we can do some changes with the text color so text color again same thing and yeah that won't really make an impact and background color again with this i don't want to keep it too like 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 that bright because it wouldn't it wouldn't give an ap ap appealing 
look kind of thing. So I'll be moving it a bit dark, a bit like greenish. Or I could leave it plain white, but it's up to you at the end of the day. Yeah, so let's now, I'll just leave it plain white. And then we can just go con control C, control C, and control V. And just click on this. And we'll move it a bit down, so there. And instead of in um enter birth year, enter your birth. Enter the enter your enter your birth. So when you're born. So yeah, there's that, and then just control C V this. And then, oh, well, that's going to come up with that as we've put the color in. So we can't actually just control C, V that, but we can align it to make it good. That seems about right. But again, uh, I'm just doing rough estimate to you guys. If you have the time, you can just go. Take your time. Now we'll put times in, and that's ba that's our that's the main part done. Now we're going to just add a button over here, and I'll change this to I'll change this to maybe write the find age here. So find the age, and this button is going to be um it's going to be a bit i'm going to make a few modifications so the width is going to be 150 for everything to fit in and the height is going to be 50 so now that well we've basically yeah that's basically our button but we're going to do a few color modifications like we don't want this to be orange as the theme is that so we can do that and yeah you can click find the age but again all up to you guys this is nothing anything dependent on me and then we can go and do a few border border things so uh we can scroll down and the border radius should be 20 to make it bend a bit and the and this border width should be four and then the color of the border, we'll leave it like that. And on second thoughts, our color of the border may not look bad when we add it to this. Um, so, where's border color? And then we could change this to cyan. So background color, boom, and there, that looks quite good as well, but all up to you guys at the end of the day, and then we're just going to push this up a bit so we can fit our last one. As I said, we can make modifications if needed, because you can't, it's, it's really hard to get everything first go, so. And as you can see, the E was off there, so I'm just going to put it back to its place, and I can move this higher and then we're just going to grab our text area now we don't want our text area to actually be that big so we are uh, we're just going to make the width 200 but the height should be 65 and then we can put it down here and as you can see fits in like perfectly and the background color would be somewhere near sign but we're gonna we're gonna keep it like this so you can actually see your age and you can actually see where the age is going to appear so that's that's my design but you guys can change it to your will and however you wish and now we are going to go and write our code now the code is quite simple so we're just going to grab this on event and look for the button so button one and we're going to declare two variables now i've talked about these in my past videos but what variables are they hold a storage they're like something that holds a data it's like a storage area so this is the same in python and anything 
any any basic coding manual. So now we're going to type in current, so which is the year um, they say they're born, um, the, the year it is then, and the birth, which is when they are born. Now we want to go into UI controls and get the get number. So we want to get the get number from the current time. We want to get the number from cur the current time. So we're able to see... So we can kind of declare that variable because we want to grab it from here. So yeah, so we can go get another one, oh, and it's over here. So, and then we can just chuck in and make it. What was this one called again? Oh, text number three. As you can see, I forgot to label that one but i've still been able to find it just by hovering my mouse over the area and now we're just going to go and get the set number so i want to set number in text area one so text area one as you can see it's called and we're going to go into math and take out the subtraction symbol. Now, when we take out the subtraction symbol, we're going to grab the text input one. I mean, the current year, current time, which. So we want to get the number, get number. We want to make sure it's a number. And if it's not a number, it will say NAN saying not a number. So we can type in current time minus and then um get number from the time they were born which was text input three and now when i'm running i um I, i'm born in 2010 so i can uh and it the current year is 2021 so 2021 and i'm born in 2010 now i should be 11 and boom it comes up here now a few things i'm going to change here and this will only come when you try it now i forgot to change this color to blue and if you guys wish we can make this much bigger so it's more visible to our user so i'm just going to go in here control c the text color and control v it here and here um the text color well, we we can keep it how it is, but we want to make the font size much bigger, like 20. And then we want to change our um, font family to um, comic. Comic is quite a good one, but it's, again, your choice. So now when we run it, 20, 21, and 2010 find the age 11 and it's visible quite properly so yeah that's our age calculator for you and i hope you've learned a lot in this video and if you guys have any other ideas please put them in the comments below and i'll um yeah i'll make i'll make a video on them and if you guys have any doubts or questions please put them in the comments below as well and i'll get back to you as soon as possible and yeah um remember to like and subscribe this video and to stay um, updated with my latest content, hit that notification button. Until next time, this is me signing off.